Welcome back for another video. Um, I guess let's just kind of recap maybe what happened over the last week a little bit. What up YouTube folks? Today is a very momentous day. It's madness really. Going into work today. I'm gonna put in my two week notice. Man, I feel good. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for a while. I guess to get real though, even though I feel really, really good today, really, really confident, and like we're finally reaching a huge milestone, I have to be completely honest. And the fact that like it's still extremely scary as well, kind of nerve wracking a little bit too. You know, I've been working, trading my time for work hourly for a long time. Been salary too. When you become reliant on a paycheck, it's almost like a drug in that you get addicted to the security. Stepping away from that security, it's scary. But at the same time, we've been working so hard on our businesses and our alternative forms of income, and the numbers are solid and strong, and so that's kind of one of the many things that gives me confidence that we're gonna be okay. I couldn't be more excited for the road that we have ahead. I, I don't think I ever wanna work for anybody again. It's just not my jam, not my thing, not into it. I'm good to cap that off. Any of you folks who are considering doing the same, I encourage you to have confidence and believe in yourself. Take a bet on yourself because when you really sit down and think about the worst case scenario, oftentimes you are smart enough and you are bright enough and you're capable enough to figure out an answer to the situation. So with that, I leave you. Gotta get a little nug nug in the car. <gasps> July 4th, 2019. Azalea is sleeping, Justin is working, and Juby is finishing the toilet room. Well, hello. <clears throat> Welcome to... Bob Ross. No, not Bob Ross. Oh, hello. Thank you for joining us. So today, happy 4th of July. <laughs> pew, pew. Today we're gonna be working on the floor in our bathroom. This is one of the handful of pieces that's not finished, that's annoying and we wanna finish it. So let me show what I got over here. I actually like what you did over here, babe. Well, thank you. Standing. So these blocks yeah. have been sitting forever and they've collected dust and poo and we walked on them. Everything that is trash, we call poo. We got rid of our lawn furniture that was kind of a free gift or we moved it to the sides, I guess. <laughs> I don't no know what problem. that's about. No problema. One and two seats, coffee table and lawn area. And our sunflowers are about to come out. Quite exciting. So while we have our AC running up there, it actually has a lot of condensation and stuff that drips down. And so what we decided to do is make a water catchment. So that water catchment we use for our Gordon here as well, so we're not wasting any water. New delivery, thank you diaper. This was a volunteer tomato plant, decided to grow from our compost pile. And we're getting little cherry tomatoes. The only thing we planted here was sunflowers. And now we've got all these crazy things down here growing. Babes is checking out the Gordon. Cherry Meister. Let us hang on to her for just a second. We'll give her back. Hold on, hold on. I am cleaning clean juice, not to be mixed with plant juice. Clean juice is just like a homemade concoction that I use to clean the house, so it's not toxic or chemical based or anything like that. And primarily also because the water that we use in our sink drains into our grey water tank, which for right now, while we're stationary, goes into the flower beds. You haven't noticed the camera is moving, thanks to little Azalea. Yeah. Cheeky one. Mama's cleaning, you wanna help? Yeah. This is how you blow torch four by fours. Okay, so 
while Justin and Azalea were at the Home Depot, I poured the resin epoxy and I'm letting it hopefully hold in. It was a little bit complicated with the instructions. One to five ratio of resin to hardener is what it said on the instructions. The bus is very stinky right now, so we're letting it air out and we're hanging out outside. And Justin is working on setting up a new AC um, extension cord because our other one I guess was too thin and not high, high enough gauge and also was too long so it was starting to overheat and he was worried for safety reasons obviously say hello hold on it is a fuzzy great happy 4th of July America go on the cup bandana fruit we are gonna grill with some cats here on the tiny house farm Let's get a close up on that grill. Come on, check out my grill. We got lots of things to come. What's your cooking good looking? We're gonna have some tofurkey on bread with coleslaw, as well as chicken bratwurst. Zelia, what are you gonna have? Spinach. Yeah, so Zelia's just got this tub of food that I fresh made for her today. It's broccoli, zucchini, spinach, and parsnip. Rage time. We're gonna do it. <gasps> there it is. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Hot pepper. Feeling tired, kind of. Good morning. What are you gonna be working on today, Azalea? All right, that sounds like a solid plan to me. So today is another wonderful family Sunday. We're gonna kind of be working on separate projects. Azalea is just gonna be brawling and eating standard Azalea, you know, shenanigans. Eating everything. So what I'm gonna be working on today is finally getting the rest of our bedroom curtains sewn and finished. And I'm also gonna see if I can start attaching leather straps to our window frames that's gonna hold our curtains open because we've just been using scraps so today I'm gonna do a little bit of woodworking we need to finish trim around the windows I don't know why but it's been bugging me so much that that last piece is not on there that's right you just you get it you get it get it uh, yeah it does look a bit unfinished it does and so I'm gonna be finishing that today so small touches not huge projects today, but small touches. And then this afternoon, chores. Yeah. So you saw us pouring resin in the toilet room earlier, so we actually didn't have enough resin, as well as the instructions online were a bit contradictory to what I was actually supposed to do. The resin hasn't fully hardened properly, so we haven't actually been able to put our toilet back in the toilet room. So until the new batch of resin arrives, our toilet is uh we have a unique toilet installation apparently here in the front of the bus <laughs> it's super uh, glamorous yeah <laughs> how is it looking about to find out and why is it blocking the doorway our little nuggets and fall out of the bus. Yep. Our laundry basket is all baby proof. Our baby gate. It's a dual purpose everything in a bus. <laughs> nice pig. That'll do pig. That looks so much better. Yeah, I mean, you can still see the top of the metal of the bus and the top of the wood and I just want to put a piece over here and cap it off. I'm just going to cut these little divots in here so that this can slide up flush with the window and sand it and make it look sexy. Uh, there you go. Azalea, that apple is about the size of your head, girlfriend. Is it yummy? Very ceremonial day, you guys. 
We are removing these curtains. Yeah! Where is Azalea? Where did you go? Oh, Azalea. Oh, are you falling over? Oh, Azalea. Beekeeping yesterday, <laughs> and sometimes there's bees that are left over in the car. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, shut the door, shut the door. Oh my gosh. Funny thing, I don't dislike bees, <laughs> but I'm definitely not as friendly with bees as Justin is. I'm actually a bit quite terrified of bees. I've been stung a bunch of times and I'm just not a fan of getting stung and for me hanging out with him is just not worth my time but I support everything that he does. We just had a wonderful time in the grocery store grabbing everything we needed for the week and Azalea also helped us eat a couple cookies, not gonna lie. And we also went to the laundromat to do clothes and sheets and general home life duties that you might assume would not need to happen if you lived in a bus but actually they do life continues in a regular state um so tell me more maurice <laughs> maurice maurice put your hands up it's more fun that way hold my hand maurice um okay so no but seriously oh my god what happened it's super hot in here what do you mean happened Oh my god. <laughs> What happened to my mirror? Oh my hey, god. Hey, did you hit something no, again? No, no, no. Okay, so, um, oh my <laughs> Crazy things, I'm crazy for crazy things. A good successful day. Say hey, Azalea. Yeah, that's right. Say hey, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> and I made some chicken and cheese quesadillas. Dun, 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 dun. And now we've been trying to catch up on the Stranger Things season, so we're gonna chill for a little bit. And then tonight, we have work to do. What do we have here, Master Chef? I'm just eating leftovers. Oh, glamorous. It's kale, onion, corn, peas, some tofurkey, garlic, and umami. It's time to begin measuring our nugget of love. All right, stand up straight on the love. All right, you got it? Here we go. I guess. <laughs> All right, let's do it, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, hold still, hold still. There we go. I think mean, it's a that's bit a, high. I think that's a little hand included in there. <laughs> so what to do with my left hand? Come on, she's being Push her feet up. up against the wall. She's <laughs> tippy tongue. Come on, we're losing patience. All there right. We go. All right. Now, mark it up, babe. Eight months. What are you doing, Azalea? What do you think about your new bed location? You love it. You guys, we have a lot of honey right now in the bus so that the bees don't scavenge for it. I know other places to store them. I can't store them outside because if the bees find them, they will There won't be any honey. There won't be any honey left. So how many, how many pounds of honey is this? I don't know, maybe a couple hundred, I don't know. A couple hundred pounds of honey right now. Let's see your moves, girl. We moved her bed down here and have it just suspended. And she is a little bit more safe now. She can climb out of the bed on her own accord. <coughs> Whoa! <laughs> Are you coming?
<laughs> Don't get it. Mm -hmm. Guys, if you couldn't tell, we are absolutely beat. Mm -hmm. It's been one heck of a day. It has. We've got a lot done. We added windowsills, we made curtains, we added little leather curtain straps, and... We sweat. We sweated. We sweated a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot in here in North Carolina. It's like yeah. low 90s. It's intense. As we mentioned before, we have some exciting news for you guys. Drum roll. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I've probably been wondering, like, you know, we've been building up this anticipation of when we're going to leave and when we're going to hit the road. We're we've excited. been planning. Yeah, we've been planning a lot. We're kind of scared a little bit. We're scared a lot of it. We're scared. <laughs> I don't know why we're scared. I guess there's a lot that's happening in this next month. Well, segue to we're leaving next month. We're hitting the road for our first time. I put my two weeks into work. And so that was intense, but it felt so good. I feel like freedom is like right around the corner. And don't get me wrong, it's not that I dislike my job at all. It was actually really great. But this, this is something we've been working so hard towards. And we're finally there. Finally there, we're gonna be able to support ourselves off our businesses. And the patrons. Mm -hmm. Thank you, patrons. Yeah. So my last day of work is gonna be July 22nd. Which and is also our two year anniversary. Oh. Being married, oh. we've been together longer, but. So after July 22nd, we are going to work for a week on the bus. We've got a whole gang of projects. At the end of the month, we're going to be packing up and we are going to be heading north. First visiting my family in Fayetteville. That's yours. south, babe. Well, that's technically <laughs> south, but... It's confusing. Whatever specifics. Briefly um, for a southern trip before we head north. Yes, we're actually going to head south and then head north. Yeah. North to D.C. and we're going to continue heading north. Got some friends in Virginia, uh, family in DC, friends in Massachusetts, and friends Vermont. in Vermont. So stoked. Yeah, and New York. I know we're a little bit late to the game, but we're gonna try and sneak up north before winter starts coming. Right? Winter might come while we're still up north. <laughs> but it's okay. It's Let's not hope not. Deal. Whatever, it's not a big We deal left right. the reflectics behind. <laughs> extremely excited yeah. this is the time we've been building up to the time where we get to bring you guys on the road we get to meet friends and spend time with friends we haven't spent with in a, little, in a long time and we get to visit beautiful places i've never been to yeah never been to vermont quite excited yeah but needless to say we just wanted to share with you guys we also know yeah. that that uh, this video is a bit meandering <laughs> yeah. all over the place it's we've the been place. a little bit scattered brain recently yeah. just because a lot has been going on it's just been a whirlwind of like emotion and things happening and like the change. opening of some things and the closing of others and the change has just been non-stop but um, it's been a good thing. It's not been a bad thing at all. It's caught ourselves kind of like this every now and again, just hypnotized. We're just like, oh, my God, staring off into the distance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was shooting for. I even With that, as you can make tell, a tune. it's our time to go to sleep now. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm going to begin my second to last week of work tomorrow. And so with that, I'm just so stoked to see. As always, thank you guys for watching along with us and our crazy little adventures, our crazy little nugget of love, and you know, just following along with us. Smash that whatever button that is on YouTube <laughs> that's underneath this <laughs> Smash video. Smash a button. Smash the button. A button, any um, button. What else? I don't know, man. Just have a good uh, rest of your week. Happy hump day and smile. <laughs> Always remember to smile because it's healthy. Love you, Beth. Love you too. Guys, it's been real. We're going to go ahead and tap out. <laughs> Peace. Stay nar nar, bro. <laughs>